Hello everybody, great to see you and having you back here with me. Today we're going to be looking at referencing sources of information. So all about referencing information. We're going to be looking at Harvard referencing and we're going to be looking at direct quotations and also paraphrasing. Okay, some of you may be wondering, what does it actually mean, sources? What is a source? Why is a source important? Well, let's have a look at what sources are all about. Well, when you want to get information to back up your opinion or argument in an essay, you get information from journals, articles, books, videos, and pictures. So this is where you're going to get all your information from to support your opinion, to make it concrete, to make it strong, right? But remember, you can only use trustworthy sources. There's a lot of fake sources out there, so you need to be careful. Probably you're going to get a lot of information from websites, right? You need to be careful of websites, right? What kind of websites can you use for information gathering? Well, education, EDU, reliable. AC for academic, definitely reliable. And also Gov for government. So the URL, you want to check for AC, Gov, and EDU. You can trust these types of uh, websites. Well, let's get into your in-text referencing now. And what we mean by in-text referencing is, te is referencing within the paragraph, within your essay. So we're going to be looking at a direct quotation. And we'll be looking at paraphrasing. So these are the two types of in-text referencing. Let's get straight into it. See you soon. Harvard referencing in-text citations. So, in-text citations, remember, this is where you're going to use your referencing inside your paragraph, okay? So, referencing inside your paragraph is what we call in-text referencing. Now, for your Harvard-style direct quotation, always remember, you're going to use the author's last name, followed by the year, okay? It's never going to be the author's first name or even middle name. It's never going to be the day or even the month, right? So the format would always be the, the family name or the last name or surname, followed then by the year in brackets, okay? So let's, let's have a look at then a paraphrase. So don't forget, paraphrase is when you're reading a piece of text, you're kind of thinking about it, you are rewording it using synonyms, changing uh, the vocab around, and then you're going to use that in your paragraph or your essay. But you need to still tell the reader where that idea has come from. So this is how we would paraphrase using the Harvard referencing system. So it would look like this, right? So as you can see, we have the last name in brackets is the year okay and then your paraphrase would come next you're rewording rephrasing what someone has said but key things to remember last name what is my year in brackets you can have your reporting verb that would come between uh maybe the year and the paraphrase so for example states claims mentions highlights illustrates, underlines, and then you'd have your paraphrase. Now, when you want to use a direct uh, words, a direct sentence, exact sentence, what an author has written, you're going to use a direct quotation. So let's have a look how you do this using the Harvard referencing style. So once again, you'd have the last name followed by the year, but the only difference here, you would have the page number as well. You'd have the page number, okay, in brackets. And then you'd put quotation marks around the words or sentence that you're copying. And the quotation marks really tell the reader, 
uh, these words are not yours, it belongs to uh, the author of the book or, or article. So that's a major difference there between your paraphrase and your direct quotation. Direct quotation, page number, and then your quotation marks around the words or sentence that you are copying. Now it's very, very important that you do uh, in-text uh, reference because if you do not, you're going to be plagiarizing, all right? And this is not a good thing to do at university. You want to avoid plagiarizing. Okay, but well, what is plagiarizing? Some of you may be wondering, or I don't really understand what is plagiarizing. Well, let's have a quick look then at what plagiarizing means. See you soon. Plagiarism. Welcome to this short but sweet tutorial on what is plagiarism. Remember to always avoid plagiarizing at university. So plagiarism involves using another person's work while claiming and presenting it is your own. If you plagiarize at university, we call this academic dishonesty. As you are basically stealing and taking the work of someone and claiming it is yours. So all that hard work a person has done, you are just taking that and saying, actually, I did this. So it's very unfair and should be avoided at all times at university. There are various types of plagiarism, such as copy and pasting directly from the internet and just simply inserting it into your essay without acknowledging who actually wrote it. This is very wrong and fair to do. Always try to avoid plagiarizing at university. As always, take care and stay awesome. Okay everyone, so thank you very much for watching that. Hopefully you have a bit more understanding of the Harvard referencing style in text citations and also plagiarizing, all right? So do remember when you're writing your essays, always to bear in mind, you're gonna use your own knowledge, of course, but sometimes obviously you're gonna to need to back up your arguments or opinions with professional knowledge, which you're gonna get from books, websites, articles and journals but you need to reference that correctly right because that's not really your words it's not your work it's not really your thoughts right so you always need to tell the reader where this is coming from all right everyone thanks for watching and as always you know the drill stay awesome